We continue reading from John chapter 16, but today we read verses 16 to 20. Jesus begins with a very enigmatic saying. And the enigmatic saying is in these words. In a short while, you will no longer see me. And then, a short while later, you will see me. So the disciples are wondering, what does he mean by in a short while you will no longer see me and then in a short while later you will see me again? The short while you will no longer see me is what may be termed as a passion prediction. That Jesus is aware that the manner in which things are working out around him the manner in which the plotting around him is going, that he is sure to be crucified. He will continue to stand up for the truth. He will continue to stand up for justice. He will continue to stand up for love. But this will not be palatable to some. The religious leaders will be frightened of him. The religious leaders will consider him as a threat, not only because they see him as someone who breaks the law, but they see him as someone who gives love precedence over the law. And that is not acceptable to them because for them, in order to be at right with God, one had to follow the law to the letter. Jesus knows that his God is a God who goes beyond the law, who goes beyond rules, a God who goes to love. And that is why this is the God he will proclaim and this is the God he will believe in. And because they will not be able to accept it, they will crucify him. And this is what Jesus means, in a short while, you will no longer see me. The physical Jesus will be buried in the tomb. However, while there is a passion prediction, there is also a resurrection prediction. And when Jesus says, then a short time later you will see me, he talks about the resurrection. That for him, death will not be the end. Because he has come on a mission from the Father, because the Father has sent him to do what the Father desires, he will be obedient and faithful to the Father's will. This obedience to the Father's will will result in the Father raising him on the third day. It is then that the disciples will not merely encounter the historical Jesus, then they will encounter the risen Christ, the Christ who can be with them every single moment of every day, the Christ who will be with them as Emmanuel, God with us. Each of us has our own crosses to carry. Each of us has our own challenges to face. Each of us has our own obstacles and hurdles that we must cross over. There are times when, like Jesus, we will also die. There are times when the weight of the cross becomes too heavy to bear. There are times when we will completely be obliterated. And yet, because we believe in the Lord, we believe also in the resurrection. We are not a people for whom death is the end. We are a resurrected people. We are a people who will be born again because the Lord is a God of the living, not of the dead. When you are tempted to give up today, will you keep on keeping 